Welcome to an example of a quotient involving fractions. Here we have 9 sixteenths divided by 3 eighths. So our goal here is to determine how many 3 eighths there are in 9 sixteenths. We're actually going to find this quotient using two methods. We'll first use an alternative method where if we write these two fractions with a common denominator, we can find the quotient by determining the quotient of the numerators. So if we have a over b divided by c over b, the quotient is equal to a over c or a divided by c. And then we'll also find the quotient using the traditional algorithm of multiplying by the reciprocal. So for the alternative method, we first want to obtain a common denominator. The least common multiple of eight and sixteen would be sixteen, so we'll multiply three eighths by two over two. So we have nine sixteenths divided by three eighths which we'll multiply by two over two to obtain our common denominator. So we have nine sixteenths divided by six sixteenths. So now we want to determine how many six sixteenths there are in nine sixteenths, but since we have a common denominator, this is the same as determining how many sixes there are in nine, and therefore we can find the quotient by dividing the numerators. We would have nine divided by six, which we can write as nine six, which does simplify, there's a common factor of three here. So this simplifies to three halves, which is a simplified fraction, but it is also improper, so we could also write this as one and one half, which means there is a one and one half, six sixteenths, and nine sixteenths, or one and one half, three eighths, and nine sixteenths. So the nice thing about obtaining a common denominator as we see here is that if the denominator is the same, then we can think of these pieces as having the same size and therefore the denominator is irrelevant. We just want to determine how many sixes there are in nine. And for an additional review, to convert three halves to one and one half, we would have to divide three by two. There's one, two, and three. One times two is two. We subtract remainder of one. So the mixed number would have a whole number of one and a fraction of one half, which is the remainder over the divisor. Now let's also take a look at this quotient using the traditional algorithm where if we're dividing by c over d, we can write it as a multiplication problem by multiplying by d over c, which is the reciprocal. Meaning, looking at the quotient here, this quotient is equivalent to nine sixteenths times the reciprocal of three eighths, which would be eight thirds. And now before multiplying, we would want to simplify out any common factors between the numerators and denominators. And notice that three and nine share a common factor of three. There's one three and three, and three threes and nine. Eight and sixteen share a common factor of eight. There's one eight and eight, and two eights and sixteen. And now we can find the product. One times three is three, and two times one is two, which of course is equivalent to one and one half. So of course our quotients are the same. So it's up for you to decide which method works best for you. I hope you found this helpful.